Let us pray. God, our Father, we come before you this day with thankful hearts for the many graces and blessings that you have bestowed upon us. We're thankful for all of our current city council members and our mayor for their hard labor and endeavors made for the good of our beloved city that we call home. As our newly elected city council member, Peter Brown, assumes his duties to help lead and guide our city, we ask that you empower him to bear his responsibilities with the utmost integrity, courage, and humility. May he be inspired with courage, wisdom, and compassion so that he may stand in solidarity with the needy and the poor and defeat prejudice, injustice, and intolerance so as to unify our city. May he be guided to know and to do what is right, good, and true, to challenge and defy anything that would diminish justice in our city, in our country, and in the world. May we always see in him a humble dedication to the service he's been called to. And may he see in us a willingness to give him our full support and continued prayers. We ask this in Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. very special occasion for the City of Columbia. We are so thankful for the presence of all Columbia citizens in person and hopefully those also watching from our streaming platforms. Thank you to today's program participants, the Reverend Monsignor Richard D. Harris, the City of Columbia Honor Guard members, Judge Casey Manning and Mayor, da Mayor Daniel Rickman as we officially welcome Councilman-elect Peter M. Brown to the City of Columbia family. I would also like to acknowledge, because we've been doing this a little while and I don't want to forget anybody, so give, bear with me, members of our community who may be in attendance, members of the clergy, neighborhood and business leaders, elected and appointed officials. I see many of our officials from the Richland County. Thank you for being here with us. Any presidents, representatives of higher education institutions, state agency heads, or members of the judiciary to include any of our municipal court judges that may be here. Because I work so closely with each council member, I recognize the sacrifices that they and their families make to serve our community every single day. Councilman-elect Brown, 
and Mrs. Brown, thank you in advance for your willingness to serve and all the sacrifices you will make for Columbia and her citizens. The city staff and I are here to help you and we look forward to getting to know you both and your daughters, Ashley, McCain, Cecilia, and Mary Rutledge, who's here with us today. At this time, we will proceed with the oath of office to be administered by the Honorable L. Casey Manning, retired circuit court judge of South Carolina. Judge Manning, Mr. Brown, Mrs. Brown, Mary Rutledge, come forward. Can you all hear me? Good. Uh, one of the privileges that you have as a retired circuit court judge is to get an opportunity to speak before you administer the oath. And I will tell you all briefly that I've known Peter for over well, approximately a quarter of a century. I remember when they moved into the house right across the street from me before you were born. <laughs> and uh, when I got a phone call, I was uh, surprised, well not totally surprised, but very pleasant, pleasantly surprised to have been asked to participate in this very important event for the citizens of not only the city of Columbia, but of this great state. I can't think of a better person to be here at this time, at this moment. And I know Joy Taylor's looking down, smiling, because he knows that Peter Brown can fill his shoes. And knowing Joy Taylor, he would tell you to buy a size a little bit larger than the ones he wore in anticipation of what you will run into in this job. I will use three four-letter words to describe my feelings about Peter Brown. First of all, he's a good man, he's a fair man, and therefore he's a just man. And as a result of those three four-letter words, you'll find out that he is an honest man. And I can't think of anyone better to come in at this time in the history of this great city to be a member of city council. It's very special, once again, for me to be able to participate in this event. Now, with that having been said, uh, Bible, you let her hold it. I've done this many times before, folks. <laughs> All right, raise your right hand. You are Peter M. Brown, is that correct? Yes, sir. I'm uh, Peter Brown. I'm Peter Brown. As a council member. As a council member. Of the municipality of the city of Columbia. Of the municipality of the city of Columbia. I will equally. I will equally. Fairly and impartially. Fairly and impartially. To the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. And skill. And skill. Exercise the trust. Exercise the trust. Reposed in me. Reposed in me. And I will use. And I will use. My best endeavors best endeavors to preserve the peace to preserve the peace and carry into effect and carry into effect according to the law according to the law the purposes for which the purposes for which I have been elected I have been elected so help me God so help me God I do solemnly swear I do solemnly swear that I am duly qualified that I am duly qualified according to the constitution of this state according to the constitution of this state to exercise the duties Exercise the duties of the office of the office to which I have been elected to which I have been elected, and that I will and that I will to the best of my ability to the best of my ability discharge the duties thereof discharge the duties thereof and preserve and preserve protect protect and defend and defend the constitution of this state the constitution of this state and of the United States and of the United States. So help me God. So help me God. Yes, sir. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, y'all know with this lovely wife there, and this daughter, Mary Rutledge. I have the privilege to present to some and introduce to the other the next city councilman for the great city of Columbia, Peter Brown. Thanks, Judge Manning. I just want to thank everybody for being here today. Uh, obviously, I want to thank my wife Pam and my uh, daughter Mary Rutledge. We call we call the three of us the core family of the Browns. Um, the older daughters are not here today, so I uh, would also like to thank Ashley, McCain, and Cecilia uh, for all of their support and 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 
what makes us a wonderful family. So, uh, but first of all, the most important thing is that I thank the city of Columbia. Um, I'm here because the voters believed in our messaging. It was always the same. Columbia is a great place to live. It's a great place to raise a family and it's a great place to run a business, but we can do better. And that's really what I'm here for is, is hopefully to bring uh, a little different perspective um, to the, this great institution and, and, and really just kind of help um, carry on what Joe Taylor did um, for, and Joe and I have known each other for a long time and uh, obviously uh, I feel blessed to be in this position and uh, honored that I'll be filling his position. So thank you once again for everything and I look forward to getting to know everyone here. Um, I'm really excited and uh, can't wait to get to business tomorrow. Thank you. Well, I, I too would like to thank everybody for being here. Uh, it's a great day. Um, Pam, thank you for letting him do it. It's important for the city. It's important for us. And Peter's joining a family of folks, our council that's here, who truly believes that, that Columbia is the place to be and that it should be the number one city. Now, we debate and we argue, but at the end of the day, we do everything because we care about this city. And Peter's going to fill the void. He's going to be part of that, and we're very excited that he's here. Uh, I want to thank our folks from Richland County for being here, Mr. Chairman, Ms. Newton, Mr. Branham, Patrick, and Leonardo. I really appreciate y'all being here. That means a lot because I think over the last 14 months we've tried to create relationships and collaboration, and I think you're going to continue to see that uh, with Peter filling a void that we've had over the last several months. Also, we'll do a little housekeeping, remind everybody that there is some refreshments downstairs, opportunity to talk and meet with Peter, and we hope you all will join us. But this is a great day and it will continue to move forward. We've had an incredible run. The city is moving forward. There's more excitement than we've ever seen and it's because we're all working together, so thank you. Let us pray. Loving God, as we conclude this swearing-in ceremony and go forth from this place, may we cultivate the capacity to see the humanity and dignity of those whose lives touch ours and whose lives we touch, so that we treat everyone with respect and reverence. May we recognize that our lives are to be measured not by the titles we carry, but by the number of hearts we heal and lives that we transform. May we walk away from this gathering determined to find ways to live an inspired life, to absorb the inspiration of others, and become an inspiration ourselves to those around us. Give us, Lord, the peace the world cannot give and your protection and safety as we go our separate ways. And now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you, and may Almighty God be with us all. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Let us go in peace.